Thank you for taking the time to watch our video on this beautiful Range Rover Sport. We are the Old Timer Centre and my name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about this gorgeous navy blue Range Rover Sport. It's a very late 2008 TD V8 and it comes in this beautiful navy blue with cream leather interior and it's got more options than, than I've ever seen on a Range Rover Sport. It's got adaptive cruise control so the car actually brakes itself on the freeway. It's got the beautiful soft leather which was an option and it's even got a fridge in the centre console. You just press that button to turn it on. And whether you go on, on trips or camping, whatever, it's great if you put a cold drink in there or water. It's good for resale as well. It's got navigation, and like every sport, it's got high range, low range, and terrain response. It's also got the Harman Kardon sound system. But if it was 2008 or 2009, and I was ordering a Range Rover Sport, and they said, Sir, what colour would you like? I would say dark blue with cream leather interior. So I think it's the, the best looking combination. I'd also get the soft leather, and I'd love the other options, but I don't know if I could bring myself to pay the extra five or $10,000 it would have cost to get the other bits and pieces which is great when you're buying second hand, you should actually try and find a car with all these options because you don't pay much more for them when they get to this stage. You've got adjustments there if you want to plug in your own music or you know, you've got the volume, you can move to different tracks and things which is great. It's got a tow bar. Oh, the other thing I would ask for is the, the light protectors, which are these. I think they look fantastic. I first saw them on a 1989 Range Rover Classic. And after that I said, I think, I think if I got a Range Rover, I'd definitely get those covers. They just, they look great, whether you go off-road or not. So it's good, because it's got cream interior, but the carpet's a charcoal or black. My God, I think it's the first Range Rover Sport I've ever seen, which actually has the tow bar in it. And from looking at it, that doesn't look like it's ever been on the car. I mean, it's pretty common for someone to buy something like this. They have intentions of going off-road, driving around Australia, and most of the time, unfortunately, just never happens. This is not a car that looks like it's ever been off-road. Which is important to ask when you're looking at any Range Rover because they're designed for, for going off-road and they're incredibly capable and obviously it's what they're designed for if, if it's been off-road it's not necessarily a bad thing you just don't know if it's driven through salt water rivers beach sand you, you, you know whatever it might be the leather in the back is beautiful doesn't literally doesn't look like anyone's ever sat in it the hood lining is excellent Yeah, if you're a fussy buyer, please come and look at this car. I certainly don't think you're going to be disappointed. It's just come in, we've given it a full wash and vacuum, but we haven't detailed it. This is what you look for. Right, you can see Land Rover stamps, great. So, Land Rover, all the way through here. Land Rover. Land Rover, okay. And I think you can you get the picture. So it's been fully serviced by the dealer from what we can see. It drives perfectly. It's also got memory electric driver's seat. It's got the factory rubber mats, which I think look better than the carpet. I, I had them in the car I was driving. 
parking sensors, obviously. He's then on lights. I think it's got, I don't know what Land Rover call it, but it's like corner assist. So when you turn the steering wheel, I'll show you. Sorry, it's raining here at the moment. We're in a warehouse. See here, it's got, it's got a couple of different bulbs. So if you're turning to the left, I think it lights up that bulb and it shoots light out this way. It's also got Xenon headlights. It really is beautiful. We're also very close to the airport, as you can probably hear. And uh, we're located in Marrickville. If you have any specific questions about this car, please give us a call. 02 Thank you.